As discussed in an earlier video, blotting techniques are of four types. Southern blotting, Northern blotting, Western blotting and dot blotting. Let's discuss them one by one, starting from Southern blotting. This technique is named after its inventor, Edward Southern. Edward Southern. In Southern blotting, we detect DNA in the sample of blood and tissues. In the protocol of certain DNA, first of all, we treat DNA by restriction endonuclease. And after that, these fragments are moved to a cross gel by the process of electrophoresis. In the process of or in this step of electrophoresis, these fragments are also separated on the basis of their size. Next step after the movement of fragments on a cross gel is denaturation. So denaturation is the first step in certain plotting. Where it is subjected to alkaline treatment. We had already discussed this before. To convert double stranded DNA into single stranded DNA. This is the first step. Then after that, the second step is blotting. Now we know what blotting is. And after that, third step is fixation. In order to fix DNA fragment permanently on nitrocellulose membrane or on blotting membrane, the step of fixation is needed. In this step of fixation, if our membrane is nitrocellulose membrane. Then in this case, we bake this nitrocellulose membrane at 80 degrees Celsius for 2 hours. This leads to the formation of non-covalent bonding. of DNA fragments with a nitrocellulose membrane so that they get permanently immobilized on a membrane and if a blotting membrane is nylon membrane in this case first of all we again break this this at 70 degrees celsius for one hour And here also, no covalent linkage between DNA and membrane occurs. Second method of immobilization in the case of nylon membrane is treating it with UV radiation.
tiene o blanchele. Two amino groups of membrane. After fixation, the pink membrane is treated with the solution of fecal, which is unsynthetic or artificial polymer of sucrose plus bobbin serum albumin and polyvinyl pyrolidin treating a baked membrane with this solution prevents the binding of radioisotopes Prevent the binding of radioisotopes, props to binding sites of membrane of blotting membrane by binding. Macromolecules to all the binding sites of membrane to all the binding sites on membrane. Now, just to rephrase, after the process of fixation. The baked membrane is treated with the solution of fecal, which is an artificial polymer polymerase of sucrose plus bobbin serum albumin and poly polyvinyl pyrrolidin. This solution prevents the binding of radioisotope probes to the binding site of blotting membrane by binding macromolecules. to all the binding sites on membrane next step in the process is hybridization which is the fourth one here the membrane is treated with single stranded dna or radioisotope or non radio isotope rna in order to hybridize and in the process of hybridization we need to take care of this special condition which is of high temperature low ionic strength by maintaining this condition in the hybridization step ensure the perfect complementary phase pairing After hybridization, fifth step is washing, by which we remove unhybrid products from the membrane to remove unhybrid products. And after that, the last step is analysis. Sixth. 
analysis by orchidogram. In auto radiography, if our probe is radioactive, if the probe is radioactive, then they are covered with photofilm or photographic immersion. And after storing it in a dark, we get silver grains due to radioactive decay. And if the probes are non radioactive, if probes are non radioactive, and if the probes are non radioactive, like biotin or the oxygenate. which is also called as DIG. In this case, we treat the probe with or treat the membrane with chamiluminescent and then treat the frame with photographic film or photographic immersion. After that, storing in dark, we get silver grains and the area of silver grains were used for further analysis in different techniques. Now let's discuss some uses of southern plotting. Southern plotting is used in the preparation of of restriction fragment length polymorphism which is RFLP and this is used in forensic sciences of various number of tandem repeats. V and TR which forms the basis of DNA fingerprinting. is it is used to detect and isolate transfer gene in transgenic organism also used to map restriction sites in a single copy of G. One aspect to remember here is that nylon membrane is favored over nitrocellulose membrane in southern lotting because it is robust. Secondly, permanent immobilization in nylon membrane can be done by UV radiation within 5 minutes. At 254 nanometers and also it is reusable where the previous probes are removed, previous 
used props are removed by high temperature and also by denaturation. Now, this is all for southern plotting and keep watching for next plotting techniques.